so today we are going to see how to set up a reaction in the PCR by using this PCR machine so how how you handle this uh, PCR machine this is Appendroff gradient PCR uh, here we have uh, 96 wells to open we have to do like this just raise this handle and then you have to push it back so here you can see 96 play, uh, well uh, block so this is the heating block so here you set up the PCR reaction at a time you can carry out 96 reactions of PCR so for closing you just pull it and then block it like this ok so once you do this this machine is blocked then you will go for setting up the reaction so here we can use this machine since this is a gradient PCR we can use it uh, different temperatures like for example if you are standardizing any PCR reaction you can use different temperatures uh, and then you can see whether you got an amplification like that so now we are going to see how to set this PCR machine for your reactions Okay, now we are going to see how to set up a reaction in the PCR machine. So first of all you have to switch the on button which is located at the back side of the machine. So as, you, as soon as you switch on the button you can see the up and drop displayed. After this display it will ask for a pin. So if we have set a pin, set up a pin then we have to enter the pin. So here we didn't set up any pin. So that's why we can enter the machine directly and then you can see admin so as soon as you press the admin you enter into the program which is uh, set already set in the machine so the highlighted one can be edited okay so by pressing the number keys so based on your uh, PCR reaction conditions you can modify or you can edit the temperature as well as time to change the cycles you can press down arrow key and you can change the cycles also okay. this can be done when the annealing step is highlighted so to move to left and right you can use left and right arrow keys and to move up and down you can use up and down arrow keys so whenever you press the up or down button if that is highlighted in this dark blue color you can change the setting of that and the final step we set up here is 4 degrees after this you can open the lid and then you can place your tubes on the block so usually we use only 0.2 ml PCR tubes for this and it has 96 wells you can place your tubes label tubes and then you close the lid there is an indicator a green light displayed so if it is displayed uh, in red color that means you have not closed the lid properly or you have not placed your tubes so that is the indication to so place your tubes you have to press the start button to start your program when the program starts you can see the display like this in green color it is showing running it shows start and end time also now we are going to see how to set up a gradient PCR reaction so generally we set different annealing temperatures in gradient so you go to annealing temperature and you have to press options so then you get the temperatures there range of temperatures you can set so from 50 to 60 and then you have to press show grid when you press show grid it will display the columns 96 well has 12 columns so in each column a different range of temperature is displayed you can choose whatever temperature you want to place your tube and then you have to save the program and then you can start the program in gradient PCR you can see the multiple red lines in the annealing step when the program starts in the beginning you can see the rise in lead temperature and block temperature until that you can see the screen so once the lead temperature is reached you will see the program on the screen when the program ends remaining runtime will be displayed as zero 
and then the block and lid temperature starts to drop when the block temperature reaches to 4 degrees then on the screen press enter will be displayed so when that press enter is displayed on the screen you need to press the enter button after this you need to press the exit button so once you press the exit button you can see the option for shutdown so you can click on the shutdown button to turn off the machine